Uh, hi everybody, Tech the Weeb here. How you doing? <laughs> Thanks for clicking on the video today. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a super important video. So here's the story. I was in the dollar store. Uh, we have a dollar store here in Canada. It's called Dollarama. Uh, do you have a Dollarama where you live? It's a pretty great store. Uh, I think we can all agree on that. And uh, yeah, I was there buying some food for my cat. Some little treats. Cat treats. They got cat treats over there. Isn't that right, Hermione? Yes, it is. And uh, lo and behold, I found myself in an aisle full of tech. There was a tech at the dollar store. Can you believe it? Anyway, long story short, I, I bought something and I figured why not review it on my channel. My channel's about tech and I bought some tech, so let's review some dollar store tech, why not? That sounds like fun. Anyway, let's take a look at what I got. Uh, where is it? Oh my gosh, where'd I put it? Oh my god, I, I set up to do a, a filming and I can't even keep track of my, the thing I'm gonna be filming. Oh, there it is. Hang on a sec. All right, there it is. Look at this. It's a gamer mouse. That's right, it's a mouse from the dollar store for gamers. Uh, gay big mouse. I guess I, I should have chose some better lighting. Yeah, it was four Canadian dollars, which is like, uh, I don't know, like $2.50 uh, USDs. The, the pictures make it look really good. You know, if it's anywhere near as good as the pictures, then I'm expecting some uh, pretty good gaming experience. I've uh, been burned in the past by dollar store stuff. <laughs> I bought these crackers this one time, and it said the best crackers in the world on the package, and they were totally stale. They were like the worst crackers in the world. So, I mean, it's says gay big mouse but you know it might actually just be some stale crackers or something uh tech one i guess is the brand is that a sticker oh my gosh that's actually a sticker they put a sticker that said tech one on it this is like a gay big mouse and uh, different companies could buy the mouse and just put their sticker on there and that's that makes it their mouse anyway yeah let's uh let's open this bad boy up and see be we be what we're dealing with I got my trusty pocket knife that my mom bought me. Oh, by the way, uh, can you you notice a difference in the filming quality? I'm filming on my new camera. I'll, I'll show you guys in another video my new filming setup, but uh, I hope the quality has improved a little bit. Anyway, let's open this up. Yeah, this is the complete dollar store tech unboxing experience. Oh, look at that. We got a USB cable right off the start. And it's braided. Oh, that actually feels pretty good. Oh, oh my goodness. You know, not to belabor this, but like, look, look at that plug. Can you see it? It's actually pretty good quality. It's not all cheap and uh, ugly. It's got like a little bit of a texture to it. Feels solid. Oh, I'm not, so far so good. I'm super impressed. <laughs> but uh, that's just the cord. So uh, what else we got in here? All right, well, the package is ruined, as you can see. Uh, all right, nothing in there. Okay, so it's a mouse in a plastic bag. That's fine. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. I mean, you probably can't tell on camera how uh, special this looks. Can you tell on camera, like, how cheap the plastic is? Like, you know when you go to the dollar store and you buy, like, some toy trucks, you know? Like, for your little cousins? Definitely not for you or for me. <laughs> People like you and me don't play with toy <laughs> trucks in our backyard. <laughs> but like, you know, our little cousins, they play with toy trucks. So you buy a dollar store toy truck and it's all cheap looking and, you know, it's got a little like just scratchy bits of plastic. This feels like the most equivalent of like a dollar store toy truck, which makes sense because it came from the dollar store. So, you know, I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, the picture of the box made it look like these little side panels come off and it glows underneath. And there's definitely no side panels coming off. The design of the mouse doesn't actually match the plastic, really. I mean, look, they got like this glowing wheel. My wheel definitely isn't going to glow. Oh, that wheel looks so cheap and plasticky. Look at that. Can you see that on the camera? Oh, man, if 10% of the cheapness is coming through on the camera, then, uh... Oh, I just caught smell of it, too. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This smells like, uh, what does it smell like? Hang on. It reminds me of something. It smells like, like an inflatable pool toy. You know, like a, like a inflatable unicorn donut pool floaty thing that you would buy. Like a dollar store version of it. That's super plasticky and rubber smelling. 
This smells exactly like that. Man, they put all the budget in this thing into the cord. The cord is like 10 times nicer than the actual mouse. It's a shame it wasn't removable. Then it would actually be a good uh, USB cord. Anyway, I guess we gotta try it, don't we? I got a PC set up here for us to play some games on this gaming mouse. I'm not expecting the world. Let's plug it in at least and we'll get some good close up shots of it. Oh wow. Can you see that guys? Check it out. Isn't that beautiful? It's glowing, glowing RGB gaming colors because that's what gamers do. They, they play RGB uh, things. It's not the worst in the world. I mean, it looks like a gaming mouse. Doesn't need to knock your socks off or anything with the way it looks. Uh, I guess I should talk about how it feels. Hang on a sec, my PC is doing a weird thing. All right, well, I mean, as for the feel of it, it, uh, it's super duper extra light. It feels like they didn't uh, want to waste any material on this. And so they put the bare bit of amount of plastic in there. I mean, lots of people like light gaming mice, mouses, mice, right? Like that's why that, uh, you know, the glorious model O, that's why it's such a popular mouse because it's so light. They even poke holes in it to make it lighter. Well. They could have saved some time and just made it out of dollar store a pool toy plastic because this is the, the lightest thing I've ever felt in my life. I'm worried it's going to float away on me. <laughs> um, it sort of feels like a gaming mouse. I'm not just going to bash it here. I mean, it feels kind of fine in my hand. The, the bottom here, this little scratchy bit, I don't know if you can see that. I can feel that on the, the bottom of my, my hand touching it. So if I was actually going to use this, I'd probably, uh, I don't know, sand that down to make it a little softer. That feels pretty terrible. But the actual mouse, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. I could play with this. Uh, speaking of which, I guess we, ooh, hi God. Oh, that wheel. Oh, that wheel is terrible. Oh, it's, it's super like, how do I describe it? Like it almost feels like there's like some rubber uh, rubbing. It's sort of inconsistent. I don't know how to describe it. It, it, it feels terrible. That's how I'll describe it. But you know, whatever, it's just a wheel as long as it works. The button on it feels fine. Yeah, that feels fine. Oh, I'm clicking things. That's probably not good. I should pay attention when I'm clicking on the computer. Mouse wheel button. I guess it's a little stiff. It's fine. Oh, the left and right mouse buttons feel fine too. I don't hate that at all. Can you hear that okay? All right, well, let's get the, uh, the camera onto the game and uh, you can watch me play some uh, games with this dollar star mouse. I guess that'll be fun for you to do. Uh, this is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, one of my favorite games. So I figured it would be a good game to uh, test out this uh, beautiful, awesome mouse. Can you hear how loud those clicks are? I don't know if you can tell, but uh, yeah, they're pretty darn loud. Uh, by the way, this is running on my PC with a, uh, this is an older platform. So this is an i5, uh, 4690, uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM running at 1600 megahertz. And uh, this is a GTX uh, 60 to 50 in there. Uh, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> uh, sorry about the reflection on the screen. Actually, can I do something about that? Is that a little better? Sorry guys, this is a my new camera. I'm still learning to film with it, but uh, bear with me. Uh, we're here for the mouse though. Don't worry about that stuff. Uh, let's give this a try and uh, see how it feels. Actually, it's not too bad. Uh, the sensitivity is a little too high for my liking. I find with cheap mice especially, uh, lower the sensitivity down and the inconsistency in the movement will feel less stark. Oh yeah, that, that'll feel a little better right there. Okay, that feels a little more what I'm used to, I think. Well, let's go shoot some uh, boars and rabbits. That'll be a good use of our uh, mouse aiming skills. There you go, dead, dead rabbit right there. Let's take his skin and wear it as a hat. Rabbit skin hat from beautiful Lara Croft. Oh, uh, there's something, what is that? Is that a rabbit? Where'd it go? Oh, he's gone. Oh, there he is. Die. Die, you son of a... No, I can't shoot anything. Should I blame the mouse or blame my own incompetence? <laughs> when the mouse is like a dollar store mouse, you can blame the mouse pretty easily. There's one. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go this way. There's always rabbits over here. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. Hello. Dead. <laughs> 
I mean, it feels like a mouse. It's not the worst mouse I've ever felt, which is surprising because it was, what, $4, like $3 American USDs. And it doesn't look that bad. It does look good. You could tell it's a, a cheap piece of garbage, but like considering the price, it's not that bad. It's got a braided USB cable and it feels like a mouse, you know? It'll get the, it gets the job done. It's fine, you know? It's not amazing, but it's fine. Oh, there you go. It's a mouse. It's from the dollar store. It was two or three dollars. It's uh, cheap. It's plasticky. It's got lots of really sharp edges that feel terrible. And it doesn't look great, but it looks better than a two or three dollar mouse should. And it plays better than a two or three dollar mouse should. Yeah, I could play on this and have a good time. Uh, your peripherals, you know, they're the kind of thing like, they only really stick out when you're playing if they're really, really terrible. And uh, this is just, this is just regular terrible. It's not really terrible. So, I mean, should you buy a dollar store mouse? Well, probably not. If you can afford to not buy a dollar store mouse, that's probably preferred, but, if you're gonna buy a dollar store mouse, then I highly recommend this one. And that brings us to the end. I uh, hope you found this useful somehow, or at least entertaining. <laughs> uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, dollar store tech reviews. Uh, was this enjoyable for you to watch? Should I do more of these? And uh, oh, let me know what you think of my new filming too, uh, my new camera. <laughs> Is this any better quality than you're used to? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video, or the thumbs down button if you didn't like it. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm Laura Croft. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.